Hi everyone, I'm Priyanka and you're welcome to my channel The Terrace Kitchen. Today we'll see the recipe of crispy baby corn chili. It's an Indo-Chinese recipe, quite easy to make and turns out absolutely fantastic. If you like this recipe, do give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe my channel for more such wonderful recipes. Do not forget to leave your suggestions and comments in the comment section below. Now let's take a look at the recipe. For this recipe, I've taken here 250 gram baby corns. I've cut these into, I mean one corn into four parts. So I'll show you how I did that and you need to do that to all the corns. So having thin slices will make sure that each slice is coated with batter and becomes crispy. And here our baby corns are ready. Now we're going to boil these. So for that boil some water adequate enough to submerge all the baby corns add some salt to it and now add all the baby corn pieces and you need to boil this for five to seven minutes on medium flame so this has been boiling for seven minutes now i'm going to strain this so if you're doing this in your kitchen you can directly strain this in your kitchen sink so take the corns out in a bowl and let them cool down so after the corns cool down, add 1 4th cup all-purpose flour or maida. Now add 1 4th cup corn flour. Salt as per taste. 2 teaspoon ginger garlic paste. Now give everything a good mix. Now to this corn, add a little water at a time and we need to make the corn flour and maida sticky enough so that they stick to each baby corn well so you can see this is what it needs to be like um, similar to the pyaaz ka pakoda which we make so this is now ready now heat some oil some cooking oil and drop the baby corn pieces by separating the way i'm doing right now so the flame needs to be medium to high and we are going to double fry these baby corn so they become extra crisp so once they become light slightly brown i mean slightly golden take them out in a paper towel and similarly you need to fry rest of the baby corns so these are the baby corns after first fry now we are going to double fry them so let them rest for five minutes and in the same hot oil you need to add all of them i mean a little at a time and you need to now fry these till these become golden in color like this a little darker color similarly double fry the rest of the baby corns now you can see i have kept these in a sift because it has a mesh and this lets air pass through all the sweet corns oops i just dropped one okay so use a mesh so that the corns remain crispy you can see these have turned out really nice and crispy now for the sauce in a kadhai or a pan take three tablespoon cooking oil once the oil becomes hot add two tablespoon chopped ginger and garlic Saute these for a few seconds till the raw smell is gone. Now add two slit green chilies or as per your taste and add two medium sized onion cut into big pieces and with each um, layer separated. After sauteing it for a minute add capsicum when medium sized cut into big pieces. And now add one teaspoon red chili powder or as per your taste followed by one teaspoon crushed black pepper. 1 tablespoon tomato ketchup and now I'm adding 2 tablespoon red chili sauce 1 teaspoon vinegar or if you do not have this add lemon juice 1 tablespoon soy sauce soya sauce whatever you call it now toss it for a second I mean a few seconds the flame should be high at this point now add water around 1 fourth cup and bring it to a boil once the sauce starts to bubble, I'm adding red food color. This is my homemade red food color. It's optional. Now this is one tablespoon corn flour mixed with two tablespoon water. So while adding this, you need to continuously stir and you'll notice that the sauce becomes glossy. And if you need, you can add a little more water. So this was like total one fourth cup. Now add a very little salt because all the sauces which we used already have sauce in them. Sorry, salt in them. Now I'm adding one tablespoon honey. If you do not have honey, you can add sugar give everything a good mix and finally add the fried crispy baby corns 
Now lower the flame and toss it until each and every baby corn piece is coated with the sauce well. Give this recipe a try and enjoy.